Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Mario themed house. And this tutorial does just include the actual house building, the outside part. I haven't designed the interior just yet. You'll have to let me know if you do want me to design an interior because I think that I could actually do a pretty good job of it. This house is really, really interesting and I think that I want to give it a go. So you'll have to let me know down in the comments if you want it. By the way, just in case you have any more building related needs, I would highly recommend checking out the car system because in that I'm going to be leaving links to loads of videos that kind of relate to this house right here. Kind of like different builds that I've turned into houses that I think that you guys will really, really enjoy checking out. And also, if I do design an interior, I'm also going to leave it in the description below and in the card system. But you can expect that a couple of days later after this video. But that's more than enough talking. If you want to design this particular build, here's what you're going to need. You will need some lime green wool and grab some black wool. Then you'll need some black stained clay and some brown stained clay. Grab yourself some dark blue wool, some cyan wool. You'll need yellow. Grab red and you'll also need some white wool. We're going to need loads of more materials later on, but we'll just have to grab those as we need them. So, once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, I'll be making it right here, you're going to want to kick off your build with a row of eight lime green wool in a row on the floor. That's eight, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you have your row of 8 lime green, look down on it like this, like you're looking down at the ground. And from this 8th block, do an upright diagonal on the ground. Then go up by 7, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Do an up left diagonal. And go left by 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Do a bottom left diagonal. And go down by 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You want to have this shape on the ground. Once you have this shape, you now want to add two additional layers of lime green wool on top of this, so it'll look like one, two. And now we just want to go all the way around and we want to add two additional layers of lime green. And this is kind of going to be like the base of the pipe that Mario is jumping out of. And this is going to kind of like be the little base, the lobby of the house. This is going to be how you access the leg and most of the interior. So once you have your two layers of lime green wool added at the base of the pipe, what you you then want to do is go all the way around the top of the pipe and you want to add a layer of a layer of lime green wool that goes above and outwards in relation to the top layer of the pipe so outward diagonally and one row above you want to have a layer of lime green wool that goes all the way around the top of the pipe like this it's quite easy to add kind of difficult to put into words but you guys can understand you want to go all the way around the top of your pipe and you kind of just want to trace around it and you want to have something which should look a little bit like this and once you have that first layer of lime green pipe you then just want to add an additional layer of lime green and we only want to have the two layers of green we don't need to have any more so just add an additional layer of lime green wool and that's pretty much it for the actual green part of the pipe once you've got that taken care of however we now want to take out our black wool and we want to do a layer of black wool inside of the pipe and it just wants to be one row downwards in relation to the actual pipe itself so it just wants to be one layer down and this is just going to kind of like cover up the little lobby area that we're going to have for the house and it just adds a bit of depth and it makes the house just like a little bit better so we're just going to be adding some black wool and once we've done this, we can actually work on the Mario statue, which is essentially what the house is, the Mario statue, and that will make up the main bulk of the house. So we want to have something which should look like this. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So this next bit is important, and the reason why is because it's going to dictate which way your statue is facing. So where we place this brown stained clay is going to be the front of the foot, and you want to place it in this bottom right-hand corner on top of the black. So, can you see where we have this bottom right-hand corner lime green wall? Inside of the pipe, we want to place a brown stained clay, like, diagonally from that lime green wall. We then want to go left of that brown stained clay by three. That'll be one, two, three. 
We then want to drag blocks number one and blocks number three here of the brown stained clay back each by three. That's one, two, three, and that'll be one, two, three. And we want to connect them together. So just to show you, like, this is going to be the leg that touches the ground. It's going to come right down here. And, like, the entrance to the actual house is going to be there. So just to give you some perspective, that's how the house is going to be planned out. And once you have this, this is what you want to do next. So on top of this brown stained clay layer here you want to take these two front center middle blocks raise them up each by one with your brown stained clay and then do black stained clay going all the way around the top of your brown stained clay like that then take out your black stained clay once again and add a layer of black stained clay on top of your square of materials then add a layer of dark blue wool on top of your black stained clay so go all the way around the top with your dark blue wool you then want to add eight layers of dark of cyan wool. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we want to do this going all the way around. And this is going to make the leg of Mario. This is going to be the trouser leg. And this is going to be pretty much the entire leg of his. Although we do have to add a bit of a bend. But that's also going to be part of Mario's hip. So this is pretty much leg number one. And this is going to take us into the house. Like this is kind of like there's going to be some ladders in there. And it's going to take us up into the house. So you want to have this. Once you've got that taken care of, you want to come to the top back part of the leg and you want to take the two top corners of the leg here and raise them backwards each by four. That's one, two, three, four, and that'll be one, two, three, four. Take each one of those fourth blocks, connect them together, and go down by three. That's one, two, and three, and that's one, two, three. Connect each one of those third blocks together and then connect them back to the leg. And this forms his leg that's kind of like at an angle jumping out of the tube you guys know how mario jumps in kind of a weird fashion his legs are bent in weird ways that's kind of what we have here once you've got that taken care of you now want to come to the inside part of the leg and you want to take each one of the four corners of the leg right here and you want to raise them coming across the statue by four so drag them across the statue each by four that's one two three four each one of the four corners one two three four one two three four and one two three four you can connect each one of those fourth blocks together and this will form kind of like a cubey looking shape like this and what you then want to do is you want to take each one of the bottom four corners here and you want to drag them down each by four that's one two three four and one two three four and one two three four one two three four then connect each one of those fourth blocks together so you just want to connect them together like this you then want to take each one of the back four corners that we have now here and we want to extend these back by one layer with your dark blue wool so essentially you want to do this take this bottom row of cyan do a row of dark blue behind it then go on top of blocks number one and four of your dark blue wool go by three one two three and this will be whoops one two three connect them together at the top you then want to add a layer of black stained clay coming out of the back of your layer of dark blue like this you then want to, in front of the bottom two middle blocks of your black stained clay, do brown stained clay. Then do black stained clay going all the way around once again. And then you want to add a layer of brown stained clay coming out of the back of this. And then fill the back of the foot in like that. So it's kind of like what we have here at the front, except it's in a different position. And that's kind of why it was a little bit hard for me to describe that. But you want to have something which should look like this. And if you like, you can then fill like the outer faces of this in with cyan stained clay. So you don't have to fill the center of this in. And you don't have to fill like the top of it in where we're going to be building on top of. But you do have to fill the parts in that are going to be visible from the outside so um, for instance you might have to come under here where we have like the hip crease and you might want to fill this in and the inside part of the leg you might want to connect this together also fill this in and the bottom of the knee here fill this in and <laughs> Mario's bum you might want to fill this and we don't want that flapping out do we so uh, you want to have something which should look a lot bit like that and that's kind of like one of the more complicated parts of the statue complete once you've got those legs taken care of we can now work on Mario's torso so um, we want to on top of kind of like this rectangular shape at the back where Mario's hips are so like on top of here 
So can you see how I've kind of like formed this rectangular shape? Well, on top of this rectangular shape, we want to add seven layers of cyan. So that'll look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we kind of just want to add seven layers of cyan on top of the torso area for Mario. Oh, we also have to fill in the top of his knee, don't we? I just, I just realized that. So um, we just have to... Fill this in with seven rows of cyan, and this is going to make up most of Mario's body. Um, we have to do his dungarees um, at the top. I mean, this are, these are all dungarees, all of the cyan, obviously, but we have to do, like, the buttons for his dungarees at the top and the straps for his dungarees at the top as well. So, um, we're just doing cyan here, and boom. Now, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, just focusing on the front part of the top part of this now. So going from left to right on top of this outward row of cyan, you wanna do this. Do one cyan, two yellow, two cyan, two yellow, one cyan. And you actually want to have that repeated for another row. So once you've done that for one row, do the same thing for the next row. So where you have cyan, place cyan, where you have yellow, place yellow. Then for the next three rows on top of this, going from left to right, do one red ball, two cyan, two red, two cyan, one red and that's for three rows so just add two additional rows directly on top of this so we have red place red we have cyan place cyan etc etc so you want to have something which should look like this now once you've got that taken care of we can work on the back part of this just a little bit so we want to on the back part, you want to basically fill it all in, fill the back part until you reach like the top row. So you kind of like want to fill it all in with sign until you reach the top row here. And then you want the four middle blocks of the last row to be red wool. And then you want everywhere else to be cyan because his dungarees come all the way up at his back. And then there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a lip at the top for his shirt. And it's a similar sort of deal here. So for the arms, we kind of want to leave the last five rows alone. Or, you know what, for the arms, fill in the top four rows with cyan wool, so that would be one, two, three, four, and then fill the last row coming down in with red wool. Do that on one side, do that on the other. So on the opposite side, we can see it's one, two, three, four, and then this last row is red, and then we can fill the rest of the row in with cyan. So we want to have something which should look a little bit like this. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So let's position Mario's arms. Um, so the easier of the arms is on the right hand side here. And to do this, we're going to need red wool. Coming out of the top right hand side of Mario's body, we want to have, coming out of the front and the back, we want to have two rows of four red. That's one, two, three, four. And this will be one, two, whoops, one, two, three, four. Connect those together and then extend each one of those fourth blocks down by seven so that's one two three four five six seven and we want to have the same for the other block as well and we want to connect them together at the bottom and we also want to connect them back to the statue like this perfect what you then want to do is you want to take the bottom two corner blocks so these ones right here and extend them coming out in front of the statue each by two that's one two and one two Connect those together and then go on top of each one of those outer blocks by three. That's one, two, and three, and one, two, three. Connect them together and also connect them back to the statue. So you kind of want to have something which should look like this. Take out your white wall, take each one of the four corners of this outward red circle and extend them out each by four with your white. That's one, two, three, four, and that's one, two, three, four. Connect those together, raise up each one of the four corners by three, connect them together, connect them back to the arm, and there you have Mario's hand. It's actually quite simple. He's just got his arm out in front of him in a 90 degree angle, looking kind of like a Christmas sock. Um, fill the hand part in, the white part in with white, fill the arm part, the red part in with red, and I'm sure that you can understand why you do both of those things. And later on, just to let you guys know, this is going to be a room of the house, like this is going to form a room. Basically, anywhere where there's empty space in this statue, and it kind of like leads to a little bit of a corridor we're going to use as storage space we're going to use as rooms or we're gonna we're gonna use it as something we're going to we're going to use it as something so 
like the torso we're going to use, the legs we're going to use, everything. Each one of Mario's limbs is pretty much a separate room, even if it's really small. So um, we're going to optimize everything, and we're going to we're going to elicit as much room out of this as we possibly can. So we're going to have something which should end up looking a little bit like this, and this is Mario's arm kind of stuck out. Once you've got that arm taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So come to the opposite side of the statue, and we're going to take care of his other arm. Um, to do this, you want to take each one of these top two corners. You know what, we'll just focus on one. Take this top front left-hand corner of the statue, extend it out to the left by one with your red. Do two upper left diagonals with your red, that's one and two. Go up by two. Go left by... No, you know what, go up by four with your white, that's one, two, three, four. Then go left by three with your white, that's one, two, three. Go down by three, one, two, three. Take out your red and go down by go down by six, so that's one, two, three, whoops, three, four, five, and six. Then do two bottom right diagonals, that is one and two. And then go right until you connect back to the statue. So you want to have a shape which should look a little bit like this. So what you can actually do is you can fill the this shape in with the correct materials. So you want to fill the lower half of this in with red and you want to fill where the white starts in with white. And we also want to turn this into a room so we want to keep this hollow but we do want it to be 3D so take the outer blocks of this arm and extend them back each by three so like on the outer parts where you have red you obviously want it to be red on the outer parts where you have white you're obviously going to want that to be white and I think that this is actually a better way of doing this because this does really keep the arm hollow because otherwise we're just going to have to like dig it out later anyway so I guess this saves us a little bit of time so remember where you have white do white where you have red do red so we're just going to be doing this a little bit longer. We don't have to do it to this part. We just have to do it to this outer part. Now we can just fill the outer part in. We are going to have to break into this arm a little later on. But um, I'll do that in the interior video. If I do it, I'll show you how to do all of that. Oh, we didn't fill the top of the shoulder in for this opposite arm. So... What we want to have so far should look a little bit like that. That's both of the arms, except um, for this hand, um, we include Mario's thumb, which is in this position. So in front of the white square that we have at the top, we kind of just want to do three white wool in the top right-hand corner, poking out of the front of the statue, and we have kind of like Mario's fist. Now what do we want to do? Well, we want to take out our yellow wool. And on top of the part that we just made, so you can see where we just have like Mario's knuckle, we want to place a yellow wool on top of this, and we want to extend that yellow wool going right by one, and we want to extend that yellow wool going left by four, that's one, two, three, four. We then, starting from this left hander block here, we want to do two up left diagonals, that's one and two. And then we want to go up on top of the second up left diagonal by five, that's one, two, three, four, five. Do two up right diagonals, one, two. Go right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Do two bottom right diagonals. That is one and two. Go down by five. One, two, three, four, and five. Do a bottom left diagonal to give you this shape. And what you can then do is you then want to, coming out of the center part of this shape, you want to have a layer of yellow wool. So this layer of yellow wool comes out of out in front of this shape by one layer and it just sits inside of the empty space that you had inside of the box. So it doesn't do anything else, it just sits inside the empty space that you had inside the box like this. And what we want to do inside of this is we want to do kind of like a question mark looking shape and um, I think it's just easier if I just do this and then show you uh, because it is quite simple shape. But you want to have this here, and you can't do a perfect question mark because we have an even number of blocks for the box, and I didn't want to change that, but you want to, with your white wall, carve that shape in the center of the box, like that. Take out your yellow wall, come behind the box, and we want to take each one of the outer blocks of this box, and we want to extend them, coming back each by five, that's one, two, three, four, five, and we want to do the same for every single other one of these blocks, so even the ones that are on the top of the hand, which would otherwise be covered, we also want these to be yellow, because um, this is going to be a room as well. The yellow box, which is mainly why I gave Mario this, is going to be a room, and that is why his hand is connected to it, otherwise it wouldn't be, I wouldn't have his hand connected to it, um, it's kind of, it's, it's a room, it's a separate room, that's what this thing's for. Um, 
and it's going to be kind of like I had it in my head as kind of like the main room of the house. This is kind of like where uh, where your bed's going to be, maybe some valuables or what have you. But in my head, this is kind of like where where most of your stuff is going to be, your my, like main little living area. So we want to have something which should look like this. And then on the back of the box, obviously, we want to have that extra layer of yellow that kind of like pokes out of the back, and it just wants to be one layer outwards in relation to the actual box itself so just add a layer of yellow popping out the center of the box and we just want to have something which should look in a second and this is going to be the empty box in a second that should look like this now let me actually tutorial the question mark for you this time so once you've got this you then want to come to the top center two middle blocks in the outward part of yellow that you made and you want to move down and find the first blocks coming down from each one of those two center ones. Knock those out. From the white one, from the right one, do a bottom right diagonal, come down by one. Do a bottom left diagonal, go left by one, coming down, miss a block, knock one out. That's how you do the question mark, it's actually quite easy and you'll end up with something that should look a little bit like that. Does it look like a perfect question mark? No. Are we missing one block right here? to form the question mark yes but there we go and something that we have to do left something left that we have to do does that sentence make sense you guys know what i'm trying to say anyway i um, discard all your materials we don't really need those anymore at least most of them grab block of gold and also grab um block of quartz grab some white stained clay and grab some never break grab some white wool some dark blue wool grab red wool and do we need anything else? I don't think we need anything else. Oh, we'll also need a brown stained clay. Silly me. Oh, we'll also need black wool. Once you have each one of these materials, this is what you want to do next. So, on top of the top four center blocks of your mystery box, which are right here, you want to place two rows of block of quartz coming up from the two center blocks or the four center blocks out the top of your little coin box. Then place a row of gold on top of your layer of quartz. You can then, starting from the left hand side of the front left gold, do an up left diagonal and go up by three. One, two, three. Do an up right diagonal, go right by one. The bottom right diagonal, go down by three. It should connect you back down. Um, starting from underneath the top left center gold block, come down by three of your block of quartz, and then fill the rest of the front of that in with gold. Come to the back and do the same thing. So on the back we want our three quartz, and on the back we want our gold. So we just want to have a nice 3D coin looking shape like this and we can then just destroy the quartz that we have underneath the coin and now we have mario hit in a box with a coin coming out um the box hasn't changed yet because well obviously when you destroy the box they change color and what have you but uh, i didn't think that that'd look as good as uh, what we have here so so far we have pretty much the finished statue except for mario's head once you've got that taken care of this is what you want to do next Come all the way up to the top front of Mario's torso, and on top of the eight middle blocks of the torso, you want to stack a row of eight white stained clay. Then out in front of this row, going from out in front of this row, add an additional white stained clay layer. Then in front of this row, going from left to right, you want to do one white stained clay, then two black wool, two white stained clay, two black wool, one white stained clay. On top of this row, going from left to right, you just want to do an entire row of black wool. You then want to take this left hand black wool, go up on top of it by one with your black, left by one with your black. On top of this right hand black wool, you want to go up by one with your black, right by one with your black. Fill the center of this row in with white stained clay. Then, add an additional row of white stained clay on top of the eight middle blocks of that row. Take the four middle blocks of these two rows and extend them coming out by one layer with your white stained clay. For the next row, on top of this top row of white stained clay, you want to go from left to right, do one brown clay, one white wool, one blue wool, two white clay, one blue wool, one white wool, one brown wool, or one brown clay I should say. For the next row, do an entire row of red wool. For the next row, do two red wool. Do one never brick, two white wool, one never brick, two red wool. For the next row, do two red wool, one white wool, 
two never brick, one white, two red wool. For the next row, take these six middle blocks and extend them up each by one with your red wool to give you this shape. Take the row of red just above the eyes and extend it coming out by one row with your red wool to give you Mario's cap. Once you've got that taken care of, you want to come to the back of Mario's head and with your white stained clay, you want to extend this initial row of white stained clay coming back until it overhangs the back of the statue by one layer with your white stained clay. So until it overhangs the back of the statue by one layer with your white stained clay. You then want to, for the next row, going from left to right, do two white stained clay, four brown stained clay, two white stained clay. Then you want to take out your brown stained clay and you want to do four rows of brown stained clay on top of the back part of the head. So that'll be one, two, three, four. You then want to do three rows of red. So this will be one, two, three. Then do six red wool on top of the six middle blocks. So to give you this shape. We then, on the sides of the head, want to do this. So on this side of the head first, on the left hand side, you want to do two rows of two white stained clay stacked on top of each other. So that'll be one and two. And then on top of this top left hand corner white stained clay block, we want to come up by one of the white stained clay. Fill the rest of the head in with brown stained clay or the rest of this side of the head in with brown stained clay until you reach the red wall on the sides of the head where the cap begins and then do rows of red wall. So you just have to do three rows of red like this. Then on the opposite side of the head do the same thing. So on the opposite side of the head we want to starting from just after the mustache two rows of two white stained clay stacked on top of each other then a row of and then a single white stained clay on top of the top right hand block fill the rest of this area in with brown stained clay until you reach the bottom of the cap in which we will then fill this in with red wool and once we fill this in with red wool we can then just we can then whoops come on um fill the top of his cap in with red wool and guess what once this is done, guess what we've finished? We've actually finished the Mario house. So once you've filled the top of his cap in, you want to end up, what's the best view to show this? I actually think it's the front view. I think that you kind of get everything from this. You want to have something which should look a little bit like this. And despite the fact that this is a house, I think that this is an excellent statue all by itself. So should you not want to actually turn it into a house, I think that it makes a more than cool statue. I mean, this is... I, I really, really do like this, and I'm glad that somebody suggested to actually make this. So, so before I end the video, I should probably show you guys how this can actually be a house. Why don't I show you? So, this is the original version of the house. I'm in my current creative world. And the idea is this. So, we have two doors on the front of the pipe that Mario's jumping out of. We open these doors, and we have a little lobby in here. I don't know what I'd put down here. I'd probably put some seating, some potter plants, some stuff like that. Maybe even a little fountain something like that um, here we have ladders which lead us into the inside of Mario's leg and this is just a big massive chute which leads us into this is Mario's hip area right here and you'll notice that there's some ladders on the right of us and these ladders actually take us up to Mario's torso and at the top of here you can see that there's more and more ladders and these can be tiny little mini rooms I probably customized these in various ways um, This right here this takes us down into Mario's arm and this could be like a little hidden room Maybe I'll find ways to hide and conceal these little entrances and exits Maybe I won't who knows and down here if we come down again Remember how we had these ladders going down? Well, this leads us into Mario's foot. And again, it's not massive, but it could be just big enough to have like a little concealed little hidden room. Put some stuff in there. And we're once again in the hip area. We can decorate all around us. As you can see, there's not a massive amount of roof. Most of these things are no more than corridors. But there are a couple of rooms just in the leg and torso alone. And then here when we get up to the top of the torso again we can either come up into here which is Mario's head which I think is pretty cool or you could come down into I say down into you can come up into Mario's arm this is where we are now and we have a nice little mystery box 
inside of that or we have a nice little room inside of the mystery box is what i'm trying to say so i think that'd actually be kind of fun to customize all of these rooms really there's about three okay-ish sized rooms in this statue and there's like two hidden secret style rooms and I, I, I don't know. I, I just think that it makes a, it makes a cool house because it's something it's it's very very different, and I I like the idea how it's kind of like you've got to navigate your way through Mario and you're actually walking through the different parts of Mario to find the rooms and I don't know. I I, I think that it's cool. It's not a, it's not exactly practical as like a survival house or anything like that, but I do think that it does make it's it's kind of like a nice surprise, isn't it? Like you have this big giant Mario statue. It looks really cool. You walk inside and it's like what? There's a house in here? That's kind of like what I like about my uh, claw machine house. It's, you know, it doesn't look like a house until you actually get into it. That's that's what I like about it. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, I'd please really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a favorite, a share. Let's take off the UI. What am I doing? Um, yeah, if you wouldn't mind, guys, please like this video. Give it a favorite. Give it a share. Anything you'd feel like doing, tell me. I would really, really appreciate Comment down below. Do you like this house? Do you want the interior? Would you like to see some other themed houses let me know down in the comment section below what else would you like to see very very interested subscribe if you haven't already we do loads of stuff around here if you haven't gathered from all of the scenery we we kind of do a little bit of everything around here we're kind of in a bit of a statue part of the world to be honest but if you go further that way there's some various football pitches there's some other various sports related builds there's a big giant claw machine house there's all sorts there's all sorts around here there's a school in the background there i'm not sure if you saw it in a gumball machine so subscribe if you haven't already plus Plus, that'll be an easy way to find the interior tutorial if you guys want it. Also, check out the card system for some other weird house builds that I've been doing recently. So, if you wouldn't mind, like, favorite, share, comment down below, let me know what you think, let me know if you want other theme builds like this. Check out the card system for some of my other theme related builds and also subscribe if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it so thank you very much for watching guys like favorite share check out the card system comment down below subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video